Hampshire's struggles continued on the opening day of the LV County Championship match at Lords, where Toby Rowland Jones and James Harris impressed with the ball to give Middlesex a dominant start to a game which will have ramifications at both ends of the first division table. Tim Murta gave his side the ideal start as he had Jimmy Adams caught behind to the game's fourth delivery after James Franklin had won the toss and inserted. Hampshire lost heavily in their last match with Somerset and they found themselves on 28 for 2 here as Sean Terry gave John Simpson some more work to do, this time off Roland Jones. Michael Carberry is struggling for runs at the moment and on 15 here after a long delay because of rain, he was LBW to Roland Jones playing no shot, ending an innings of 70 minutes which had no real fluency to it. James Vince is another who's going through bad times right now and when he was bowled by Harris for 13, Hampshire were in some trouble on 55 for 4. Adams aside, all of the batsmen made a start. Adam Wheaton now becoming the fourth man to fall between 13 and 23 as Murta cleaned him up as another batsman chose the wrong ball to leave alone. And when Will Smith also fell in similar territory, trapped in front by Roland Jones for 18, Hampshire were now on 97 for 6. Joe Gatting was given his first start of the summer in place of the injured Sean Irvin, and the former Sussex man was his side star performer on the first day of this match. How Gareth Burr would have loved to have returned to Laws to show what his former county had let go, but on 10 he was brilliantly held by Nick Compton in the gully as Roland Jones grabbed his fourth wicket. Gatting now had a lot to do with the tail to try to get his side to some kind of competitive total. He and Danny Briggs brought up the 150, only for the latter to nick off to Harris for eight to keep the home side just where they dreamed of being when they won the toss first thing. Gatting showed just what was possible on this green-tinged pitch. He took 14 runs off a of Harris over, including this six, which took the batsman to a 50 off 75 balls. Without Gatting, Hampshire may well have been out of this game already. Even with him, they are in an awful lot of trouble against a team which needs a win here to keep the pressure on those above them in the table. Harris now finished off the innings in a hurry. He bowled Brad Wheel for three. And his 49th first-class wicket of the summer came when he had last man Jackson Bird held in the slips by Ollie Rayner, even though the bowler initially went up for an LBW. Harris had 4 for 48, Roland Jones 4 for 60, as Hampshire were all out for 176 in spite of Gatting's unbeaten 64. Middlesex decided to give Paul Sterling a chance at the top of the order in a championship game. And he played as if this was a one-dayer just to confirm his size domination of what was almost a perfect day for the home team. Sterling got off to a flyer, while Sam Robson would have just been pleased to make a start after grabbing a pair in the draw with Worcestershire at Uxbridge last week. In 13 overs before the close, these two had already reduced the deficit to just 117 runs with a score of 59 without loss. Sterling making 36 at better than a runner ball and Robson 17. Middlesex then will look to build a match-winning lead on day two.